friends, this is Tina and welcome to my new video. Today's video is a very exciting one because we're finally starting my new sketchbook. If you didn't know, I finished my last 100 page sketchbook in March this year. So that took quite a long to, you know, finish. And then I had a break in between finishing that and starting a new one. So I'm very excited to finally hop into a new sketchbook and see what this very hyped Strathmore mixed media sketchbook is all about. I definitely want to figure all of that out and see how this works compared to my previous notebook. So I'm very excited. If you didn't see my sketchbook tour of my last sketchbook, I will have that video down in the description. So you can watch that before or after this video, who cares? But without further ado, let's get into the actual video now where you can see me painting the first spread and talk more about this sketchbook. So let's go. It's voiceover Dina here. I forgot to say in the beginning in the intro that this sketchbook was gifted to me. It doesn't really mean anything in this video. Of course, I just have to mention it, but you know, it doesn't mean that I'm saying things because it was gifted to me. Like no one asked me to even share anything about this sketchbook. I'm doing it because I felt like it and because I have heard such good things about this sketchbook from other creators. So I wanted to check it out. Again, it is a Strathmore mixed media art journal. It has 64 pages and 190 GSM paper thickness. So it's a little bit thicker than my previous 160 GSM sketchbook. And this notebook also has textured paper, whereas my last one didn't. So I think that this would work much better with watercolors too. I don't think I'm going to be using watercolors with this one. I think that I will exclusively be sticking with gouache. But um, if you're looking for a journal that can handle a lot of different mediums, I think that this would definitely be it. I will be listing the sketchbook in the description down below, as well as the paints that I was using if you want to get some for yourself, but yeah. I will be telling you a little bit more about the paintings that I'm making in this video. So I don't typically ever have like a really special idea for my first page in my sketchbook. I think that usually that gives too much pressure to me when I'm starting a new sketchbook and I have to, you know, figure out something very symbolic and meaningful for me to make in my first pages. But this time I actually had a great idea and it kind of is in a way meaningful to me. So I was just alone at home this week when I was starting to paint in the sketchbook and my boyfriend was away with his friends on a summer cottage and they just went outside on a walk and he sent me this very beautiful picture um, of the landscape he saw and even though I've never been in this place myself it was very beautiful and in that way it is meaningful because it is you know Finland and I wanted to dedicate my first spread in the sketchbook to Finland and our beautiful nature in this country again like I said it's not meaningful in a way that I've been in this place that I'm painting or anything but I still wanted to you know include it in this sketchbook because I was very inspired by that picture he sent me and that doesn't always happen to me you know there's a lot of times when I show some beautiful sceneries in my Instagram stories and people are always like you have to paint this it's so beautiful but I don't necessarily ever you know maybe feel like painting those even though they are beautiful because I need to always be inspired to paint it myself like even though a scenery is beautiful it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm very inspired to paint it but I'm happy that this time it was the case and I kind of I was looking forward to painting this the whole weekend so I'm happy that I ended up doing it so I I think I shared this picture on the screen at some point, but I can do it again now. So yeah, in this picture, there was a little bit of water and a little forest in the back and then some little islands and greenery in the picture as well. It also had, of course, this beautiful flower field. So I was excited to do that because I haven't actually painted flower fields that much in the recent months. So I was excited to do that. I honestly have not really even painted that much, period, <laughs> because I've just had a little bit of a little bit of a break and I've just been really busy with everything like you know I absolutely love painting and it's one of my favorite things to do but I just haven't found the time for that which has made me really sad because of course I would love to do my favorite hobby more so yeah I'm happy that I was able to start this uh, new sketchbook because I definitely felt that I was in this weird in-between state of you know finishing my sketchbook and knowing I will start my new one soon but I just didn't have an outlet for painting I definitely noticed in the last year that I 
love painting the most in a sketchbook and I think that that is like my favorite outlet for painting. I have not painted that much ever in like just random paper sheets and I don't know, I just love this satisfying feel of painting inside a sketchbook where you can just flip through the pages and you can see all the artworks at once without having all of your art just scattered around your apartment or your cabinets. I just love the feel of painting inside a sketchbook and when I haven't had it, it has felt weird and I've also felt weird because I knew that I wanted to make this video so I was kind of just waiting to make a video so I can start painting more inside of the sketchbook. So yeah, it has been this weird feeling of not having, you know, the outlet to paint in but I am very happy that I started this sketchbook so now I can start actually using it more on my free time without having to make content out of it. By the way, I'm really sorry that the lighting is really bad on these clips of me painting the first painting. The colors just look a bit off and, you know, I just had a weird setting on my camera. Each time that I had my hand on the frame, the whole clip just became so light. So yeah, I could not really fix that in the editing part and I know that it's also not really that bad, but I still just had to mention it, so yeah. Again, as you can see, I was painting the flowers in this picture as well, but I noticed that I was only really like, I'm um, not familiar with painting flower fields at this point. The colors turned out a little bit weird because they were kind of very vibrant in the image that I was using as a reference. And I was having a hard time kind of translating that into this painting. So I was definitely struggling with the flower part of this painting, which was weird because I did not think that that was gonna be the part where I'm struggling because that usually is for me a pretty familiar thing to do and usually I can just do it pretty messily and it will still look pretty but this time it was definitely hard. I noticed that there was a lot of um, space in between the flowers that I left green that looks a little bit weird and also the colors turned out a little bit muddy especially the um, pink and purple ones but yeah it still turned out pretty but I was definitely just like um, in this weird feel of not really being used to painting again because again I've had a bit of a break and sometimes getting back to it can feel like you have never painted before and that was definitely something that I felt when I was painting this but I'm happy that it got much better with the next painting. By the way, this is something that came to my mind when I was editing this video because I've seen a lot of people do this, but I haven't personally done it myself. Would you be interested in seeing like a long version of some of my paintings on maybe on Patreon or something? Because of course, every time that I'm filming videos like these, I have a lot of footage that you cannot necessarily see. Like either the video is very sped up or I have to cut some things out of it to, you know, keep it shorter. Maybe I could actually compile all those videos together and make a very long video where you could actually, you know, recreate the painting better if that's something that you are interested in. You know, would that be a good idea? Tell me in the comments. I would definitely love to know because I am very open to doing that if there's a lot of people that would be interested. But yeah, this is the painting all finished. I think it turned out really pretty and I'm happy that I did it because again, it kind of sparked my joy with painting again and I'm very happy with that, of course. So now we are going to be painting the next page here and this is a much more meaningful painting to me personally because it is um, a picture that I've taken at my um, parents' backyard. <laughs> you know, I lived in this place for many years before I moved away to my first own place. So 
it's a very meaningful thing to me and of course I love the Finnish sunsets and the summer feel in this painting so I definitely wanted to you know bring it alive with this painting here. What's fun about this picture that I'm painting here is that the boat that is in this picture is actually built by my grandfather many 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 years ago and I think if I'm not mistaken I'm sorry if I am but I think that you know he was making a lot of boats for sale and this was sold to someone and then like so many years later my father actually found it on sale or that someone owned it and we bought it back and now we have my grandfather's old built boat and it's a very pretty one and I loved painting it in this picture and I love that it has that kind of orangey wood tone um I don't know anything about boats but the um, downside of it and it looks really pretty and I love the pop of color and it definitely fits the scenery really well as well. So yeah overall this is a scenery that I've seen a bunch of times in my life and I'm happy that I was able to turn it into a painting and I think that it actually turned out really pretty. Uh, in the end I actually think that this is one of my favorite paintings that I've ever done and overall I think that it's always hard to turn a meaningful picture into a painting because when you have seen that scenery many times in your life you might be a little bit more picky and you might see the details a little bit differently so it's always a little bit hard to start painting something like that but I'm happy that this time I actually for some reason was in the best mood possible for this painting and I definitely wanted to focus on the details a lot and just make sure that I bring this scenery alive in this painting and I think it turned out really pretty. So while I'm going to be painting this, I want to give you some pros and cons I noticed while I was using this sketchbook. Of course, this is just the beginning, so my opinions can completely change and I can find a lot of bad things and good things about the sketchbook when I go on, but here's just my first thoughts about it. So if you didn't know, my previous sketchbook was a moleskin art collection sketchbook, which necessarily wasn't meant for painting. You know, it didn't have any sort of textured paper and and it was kind of yellowish and I noticed while I was working on it that some techniques were harder to do with that paper because it just wasn't meant for that but when I was painting these pictures here I noticed that this definitely felt better painting wise like it was much easier to blend colors and um, do gradients which is something that I definitely struggled with with my last sketchbook so I was happy to notice that it was much easier with this one and overall yeah this felt like a better quality sketchbook with which of course is a plus. But I do have to say that I definitely liked the fact that my last sketchbook was kind of rugged and it felt very low key when I was painting on it. You know, just painting something inside these pages that are not necessarily meant for any great artworks, you know? I think that it just felt like it was much less intimidating. I don't think that painting in this was intimidating either, but I feel like if I would have started with this sketchbook like many years ago when I was starting to use my last sketchbook, I would have felt a little bit differently because in the end, I definitely started to appreciate the fact that my last sketchbook was so rugged and kind of um, bad for, you know, using it with paints. But that's just my own personal opinions about the sketchbook, you know, that probably doesn't doesn't mean anything to anyone else but I just wanted to point that out. There's also a couple of little things that I noticed about the sketchbook that are not necessarily cons but are just some things that I need to get used to. So my last sketchbook had rounded edges and I kind of like that. I've always just had rounded edges in pretty much every single notebook or bullet journal or sketchbook that I've used previously so the fact that this has um, those sharp edges is a little bit weird and I definitely have to get used to that but you know it's not that big of a deal. Another thing is that the sketchbook doesn't have an elastic band at all and I know that that is kind of like an easy thing to buy yourself and add to the sketchbook so I don't think that's a big con or anything but I definitely feel like that's something that I might need later because at least my previous sketchbook barely stays closed when I have filled it with you know quash paintings and the pages start to wrinkle a little bit so I wish that this had it but it's okay. This also has hard covers and I know that this sketchbook probably comes in a soft cover as well but the one that I had is a hard cover. 
and I noticed immediately that when I took it with me somewhere it already got some dents in it which is not a big deal I don't care about that personally but yeah it's just something that happened immediately and that didn't happen almost at all with my previous sketchbook that had still hard covers but a little bit softer if that makes sense so yeah I definitely immediately got some little dents and um, marks in the covers but it's okay that might bug someone so if if you are someone that takes your sketchbook everywhere and you don't like that maybe this isn't for you i also think that it was a little bit harder to get it to lay flat you know the covers laid flat if that makes any sense but it's hard to get the pages to stay open because they would like to close so i don't know if that's something that will also get easier when i use this more but i definitely noticed that it doesn't necessarily lay flat perfectly as i would hope so i guess with that i kind of focused more on the um, negative things but again they are very small and they're not necessarily anything that you know make me dislike this notebook and I think that the one plus side is definitely overriding all of the uh, slightly negative ones anyway. <laughs> But yeah, overall, I also love the fact that this has much less pages than my last one. I would probably never ever use a 100 page sketchbook as like my main sketchbook anymore. I just want something that has less pages so it doesn't feel like the biggest challenge ever when I start a new sketchbook because I always have this idea in my head that I would like to finish it at some point. So starting a new sketchbook from the page one and knowing that you still have 99 more just is like a very overwhelming overwhelming and not the best thought so i don't know i just love the fact that this has 64 pages i think it's not too small amount and it's also not too much so i'm very happy with the page number which is again one of the biggest things that i think definitely is a plus in this notebook compared to my last one so i'm really happy about that but that is it for this video. That was me starting my new sketchbook with these two beautiful paintings. And I definitely think that the first one, even though it wasn't my favorite, next to the one that I just did, it actually turned out so much better. And it just like fits so well with this whole spread. So I'm very happy with both of them. But that is that. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed seeing me painting the first spread in this new sketchbook. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up and leave a bow emoji down in the comments so i know you watched until the end thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye